In this video, I'm gonna go over my strategy for commanding top of market rates as a blockchain developer. I'm gonna share my knowledge that I've gained from years of experience working in the trenches with this new technology so that you can get some ideas on how I do this and how you can implement some of these ideas yourself. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to master blockchain step-by-step step from start to finish, then head on over to adapuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So first, let me tell you a little bit about my background. I got into blockchain like a lot of other people by watching cryptocurrency prices go up like crazy. And when I saw that, I started looking into the blockchain industry itself and saw a massive opportunity. Blockchain was and still is ripe with innovation. And so many companies are flocking into the space, like trying to build the next hot blockchain product. And when I saw this, I knew there'd be a massive opportunity for developers to enter into the space and make a lot of money simply because there weren't a lot of people who understood these skills that were in such high demand. So I was already a developer before I jumped into this space. But my whole goal was to transition into this new technology because it looked like there was a lot more upside potential compared to the other technologies that I was working with at the time, like traditional web development, for example. And now being on the other side of that transition, it's been my experience that there is more opportunity in blockchain compared to the other technologies that I was working with before. And over the years, I've raised my freelancing rates more and more and currently charge $5,000 per day for most new projects. Now, I know that sounds crazy. And just a few years ago, I would have said, like, is that even possible? Well, it is. And there's lots of factors. And I want to break those down for you right now so that you can understand how it works. And so you can see each of these factors. And if you want to replicate similar results, then you can, you know, work on each of these factors individually. Now, before we do that, I want to clarify just a few things. Like first, I'm not making this video to brag about how much money that I make. I want to provide value to you. And also I want to be fully transparent. Like I don't charge $5,000 per day, five days a week, 52 weeks out of the year. But this rate allows me to earn more total money than I could if I just had a fixed hourly rate that was much lower than that. And so that's the rate that I personally set for new projects to determine whether or not they're a good fit for my pipeline with everything else that I have going on. All right, so let's break down how this works and how I'm able to do this. Okay. So first and foremost, really, the main factor is blockchain, just the skill itself. It's super in demand. On the grand scheme of things, there aren't that many talented people who can solve hard blockchain problems and provide that value to clients. Because at the end of the day, how much you get paid really is about the value that you can deliver to people. And so if you want to do something like this, you, of course, first have to master the in-demand skills, which are the blockchain skills, the exact skills I teach you on this channel. And that's the bread and butter of how I'm able to charge these rates. OK, you're probably not just going to like walk out tomorrow and find people that are going to willing to pay, you know, five thousand dollars per day for your development services. You know, it definitely took me a while to get to that point. But now I want to talk about some of the specifics and how I was able to raise my rate to get to that point. So the first is value-based pricing, all right? So when clients come to you, a lot of times they just want to know how much something is going to cost. They don't really care ultimately about the hourly rate. So let me explain what I mean by that. You know, you could say you charge $100 an hour as a blockchain developer, right? But ultimately, the client wants to know, well, how many hours does that total up for my entire project? Because at the end of the day, they're paying some fixed amount. So they're really sitting there thinking like, is this project going to cost me $5,000? Is it going to cost me $10,000? Is it going to cost me $100,000? Because ultimately the client is thinking about their ROI. You know, they're looking at your project like an investment and they say, if this project costs me $10,000, can it make me, the client, the business owner, you know, $20,000, $50,000, $100,000. And so what they ultimately care about is how much total money are they going to spend on you and how much money is that going to make them over the long term? So for that reason, they care less about your hourly rate and more like how much they're actually going to spend on you developing this project for them. Because that total price is the value of the project to them. All right. And so that's what I focus on as a freelancer. I don't personally bill by the hour. I bill by the project because that's what the client is focused on and I'm confident in the projects that I take on that I can deliver that value that they want for the price that we agree upon. Now, if you're an experienced freelancer, you might say, hey, man, that's a total mistake because you need to bill by the hour. Because what if the project takes like way longer than you thought it was going to be and, you know, you end up working for pennies on the dollar? Well, I agree with you, right? And I wouldn't do every single project like this, but my personal strategy is I only take very specific projects in which I'm confident that I can deliver, you know, this amount of value for this amount of price. And I don't really focus on the hours that much. So here's why. So most of the projects that I take, I'm able to leverage systems that I've built up over time in order to deliver this value. So 
basically I can ship a project really fast that might take another developer who's billing $100 an hour. It might take them a really long time to build that from scratch, but I've already done a lot of the hard work because I'm solving a lot of the same types of problems over and over again. I can use these systems that I've built to deliver this value really fast. And so that's able to provide the same value as a different developer which would be the same price to the client, but I can do it in less total time and also usually less calendar time, which is also a huge value to the client as well. And so I only take projects to, at this rate where I know that I can deliver this value in a relatively amount of time, which typically ends up being a really high hourly rate and which right now would add up to about, you know, about $5,000 per day. And now another quick caveat is sometimes these days aren't like, you know, full days. Sometimes they get broken into multiple days, but still when you add it up, the total amount of work per day is about $5,000 per day. So now another big reason that I can do this is because of deal flow, all right? So honestly, I turned down most projects because not every project is a right fit where I can leverage these systems that I've built in order to command those types of rates. Like again, like I'm not saying that everybody's just, you know, waiting around trying to pay blockchain developers $5,000 per day. I have to vet and find the right projects that fit that criteria. So how do I create this deal flow and how can you do the same thing? Well, the biggest way to do it is to create some sort of online presence where you're adding value to people and helping them solve the types of problems that you're probably gonna get hired for. And so a lot of project that leads that I get come from you know people just watching these YouTube videos and also uh, you know reading the articles on my website and also the Twitter account. And so that's a big part of this deal flow. And now you don't necessarily have to create a YouTube channel with tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of subscribers in order to create deal flow for yourself. Honestly, you can create a reasonably sized like social media audience and you'll start seeing traction. I mean, you can get started today with just a basic Twitter account, but what you wanna do is focus on providing value and having a way for people to reach out to you. So that could be like having a, an account that, you know, adds value on what you're working on in blockchain, teaching other people, helping them solve their problems, and then also going into other spaces where people are having conversations about blockchain. Maybe that's like technical forums, GitHub, Reddit, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then just helping people online solve their problems. And you'd be surprised at how much attention you can get just from that alone, okay? And at the end of the day, you want a way for people to contact you so that you can, you know, start opening up those conversations and then try to find, you know, who's a good fit for you to work with and then learn how to negotiate new projects that make sense for you to work on. And so those are the factors on, you know, how I'm able to implement this strategy. I would consider this an advanced strategy. So if you're just getting started, then there are a few things that you need probably before you really go for the throat on something like this. So if you've never been a freelancer before, maybe you're new to blockchain, then let's talk about some prerequisites because you definitely want to focus on these things before you uh, jump into this, all right? So you could implement this strategy relatively quickly, but you just want to make sure you have a few basics covered, okay? So first and foremost are the technical skills. You, know, you have to have the skills to pay the bills. It's the exact uh, skills I teach you on this YouTube channel, right? And inside my blockchain bootcamp. But you also do want to have some basic freelancing skills before you try to implement an advanced freelance strategy. So if you wanna do that, then how can you get started today? Well, if you wanna start freelancing, uh, I almost always say do it while you're working a different job. Doesn't have to be a developer job, like maybe you're waiting tables or something else where you, something else where you have steady income already. You wanna start doing freelancing on the side because especially when you're first starting out, it won't necessarily be steady. And you also wanna have some sort of leverage so that you can turn down projects that aren't a good fit. And so even if you do want to make freelancing your full-time career, I almost always, you know, say start there before you make the full-time transition. And so you can do that pretty easily on a website like Upwork.com, okay? You can create a profile, start applying for jobs, let jobs apply to you. And then that will give you some basic freelancing experience so you can see what it's like and test your skills out. So that being said, like you're probably not going to get like incredible rates on something like Upwork, but here's what's really important. The experience to you in the beginning is going to be way more valuable because ultimately people are gonna to wanna to see some sort of experience before they hire you. And Upwork's gonna be a place where you're more likely to find someone who will hire you at, at a lower rate to begin with just so you can gain that experience. And so if you wanna raise your rate, you, you need to start low, okay? Basically start low and then raise it. So, I mean, basically you have to find some sort of rate that makes it worth your time just to even look at a project to get that experience. I probably wouldn't recommend starting out for free, but something that makes it worth your time and then raise it up, you know, slowly over time or quickly, you know, if you see a good opportunity to do that and you're having good results. 
And then also as you're doing this, like if you want to employ a more advanced strategy, like building up some sort of audience, some sort of reputation in the space, then it would be good to work on that sort of on the side while you're doing this as well, because that will also take some time. All right. So this is not like a get rich quick overnight type of situation. This does take time and effort, but I can tell you from someone who's focused on this for many years that it's totally worth the time investment. But if you want to, you know, get to that next level and charge more than you could, then just like advertising your hourly rate, charging fixed prices that are higher. You know, you need to focus on the things that I talked about, which are building some sort of social media presence, you know, contributing, adding value to the conversation, and then probably doing what I was talking about where I have some sort of uh, value based product where you can deliver value to people faster uh, than you could if you're just charging hourly. Now, that being said, I will have a, add a caveat here. Some people are just really fast, efficient coders, right? I know other advanced coders who aren't even in blockchain who charge really high hourly rates, like two, three hundred dollars per hour, but they do offer some really unique value proposition. And at the end of the day, like that's what you need to find is what is your unique value proposition? How can you communicate that to a client and then convince them to pay you that amount? So the example that I was just thinking of that's different from what I do, but it's still really good, is I know somebody who they're a full-time freelancer. And their basic value proposition is they can get more done in a day by themselves than a team of two or three developers could. And that's how they're able to charge, you know, like $300 per hour. But again, these are advanced developers. They have really solid skills and they really focus on effectiveness because it's not always, again, about the hours worked. It's about, about the amount of value delivered. So people like don't like the idea of a 10x dev because they think, well, how can somebody code like 10 times faster? Again, it's not about 10 times the productivity of typing, you know, uh, code into a keyboard, it's about 10x the value delivered from the time that you spend doing it. And it's definitely possible as a developer. So that's an overview of how I charge top of market rates as a freelancer in blockchain. So I hope you like this video. Again, the whole goal of this is to give you some ideas so that you can implement them for yourself. If you like this video, as always, you know, smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn these skills and capitalize on this big trend while it's still early, you know, that's exactly why I got into blockchain. That's why I'm still here. Uh, you know, if you want to do that, then how can you get started today? Well, you go to my YouTube homepage and you can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. All right. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you're just sold right now. You want to take a massive shortcut entirely. Then I can show you how to master blockchain step by step step from start to finish so you can jump in on this, right? I can show you how to build your own real world project, to build your portfolio, get out there as a freelancer, or hey, maybe you just want to get a blockchain job. I can show you how to do that too. Just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. I've helped plenty of people with zero coding backgrounds become, you know, in-demand blockchain developers. You can also see some videos on my YouTube homepage of people who've like changed their careers, gotten into blockchain. Just check out the playlist there called Student Success Stories. All right, so that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.